Now let's uh, discuss adding vectors by components. For example, suppose vector A is added to vector B and the resultant vector is C. So if we draw the vector components um, for vector A and vector B, um, this would be right here, we would have a x component of vector a and here we will have a y component of vector a so for vector b i would draw the x component of vector b so this would be the bx and perpendicular would be the by component. Now if I move vector bx on the x-axis and a y component um, attached to the by, this is what we will get. So this would be my bx and here this was my original uh, triangle so this would be my a y and here originally I had my b y as you can see the a y and b y the resultant of this vector actually would be them the y component of the vector c so this would be c y and the vector component x uh, of c x will be the addition of the a x plus b x Well, apparently I had a quite hard time drawing this little triangle in a straight lines. Anyways, all I wanted to show you that the Pythagorean theorem tells the C is a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse square equals the X and Y components squared and added together. Now to find the direction of a vector C, we need to find this angle. Uh, let's call it theta. And the easy way, because we we, can, we already have the C, Cx and Cy, we're going to use a tangent um, tangent uh, theta function, which is the opposite over adjacent side. Uh, that is a Cy over Cx. And then finding the theta from here is simply to do tangent inverse cy over cx let's take a look uh, at an example that will make this make more sense so suppose a jogger runs 145 meters in a direction of 20 degrees east of north let's call this one uh, vector a And then 
uh, runs 105 meters in a direction 35 degrees south of east. Let's call this vector B. And that was a 105 meters at 35 degrees south of east. Well, we want to use the components, components to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector C. So I'm going to write C vector is a question mark. When I say C vector, that means I want to find what is the magnitude and the direction theta. So that means I need to have two answers to it. Let's draw vector A first. So it says 20 degrees east of north. So we start from north, which is here, and then we move to east, the direction. We measure 20 degrees, and then uh, we draw a vector, and we, uh, and, and we uh, think that this is 145 meters. Assume that it's 145 meters. So I'm going to call it vector A. Okay, so let's immediately put the components for this vector A. That would be, uh, that's where we are making the, uh, the triangle. So this would be the AX vector. And, and right here we would have a Y component. Okay, so now we want to draw vector B. So we want to put the vector B, the, the tail of vector B uh, on the head of vector A. So that's why I'm going to put the reference lines for me. Um, so here's my, uh, on, the, on the head of the vector A. So here's my X and parallel uh, lines for X and Y axis. And then let's uh, let's start with the angle. So we have we start from the east, and we are going to south. That means I start from here, and I'm going to south. Um, I'm going to measure 35 degrees. Let's suppose this is 35 degrees, and 105 meters, which is probably a little bit longer. Let's call this vector B. This angle would be 35 degrees. And I forgot to uh, label the angle 20 degrees in here. Now, let's uh, also draw our components for vector B, which means we're making the triangle for vector B. So here we have B, Y, and this one is B, X. Now our vector C will be the addition of vector A plus vector B, which goes from the starting point to the end point. So this would be our vector C. Okay. And the components of vector C would be CX, CY going this way, and CX going that way. Okay, now let's go back uh, and find our C and theta. So which means we're going to focus on the red triangle here. So I can say vector C should equal square root of cx squared plus cy squared oops and then um, if i find the cx which is a question mark and a cy question mark then i can find the c also to find the theta which is this angle right here that be uh, tangent theta should equal cy over cx, so which is tangent inverse 
um, CY over CX. Again, we need to find the values for CX and CY. But what we know from vector additions that CX equals AX plus BX and CY equals AX plus BY. I accidentally made a mistake. It has to be AY plus BY. Now we have a problem. We don't have AX, BX, AY, BY, which means we have to find it. So I will first find AX and AY from the blue triangle. So if you look at the blue triangle, I you could say, um, you could use, uh, let's say, um, the sine and cosine to find the AX and AY. So let's see our sine, sine 20 degrees equals opposite, which is AX over A and cosine 20 degrees is the adjacent, which is AY over A. From this, I can find AX equals A sine 20 degrees and AY equals A cosine 20 degrees. I can plug in the numbers and find the values. Let's just do that right away. Our A was 145 meters. So I would put 145 meters times sine 20. That will give us 49.6 meters. And for AY, I would put 145 meters cosine 20. That will give us 136 meters. Let's do the same thing for vector B. In uh, vector B, we have um, this green triangle and we have the angle 35. So let's see. If we look at the angle 35 here, so I can write sine 35 degrees equals the opposite side to 35 is a BY. So it's a BY over B. And then adjacent side to 35 would be cosine, cosine 35, adjacent side would be BX, BX over B. So from the top one, we'll get the BY equals B sine 35 and BX equals B cosine 35 degrees. There is one thing that we need to take care of. So as you can see, I'm writing um, just the scalar components, which means I didn't take into account the directions since the um, Y component of vector B is directed to the negative Y direction, then I need to add a negative sign in here. Now, all I need to do, plug in the numbers equals negative our B, the value for B was 105. So let's plug it in, 105 meters sine 35 degrees equals negative 60.2 meters and plugging the numbers for BX, we have positive 105 meters times cosine 35 degrees. That will give us 86 meters. 
Now to find the CX, I'm going to add AX to BX. And to find the CY, I'm going to add AY to BY. Let's plug in the numbers. Okay, so my AX is 49.6 meters. And my BX is 86.0 meters. And for AY, we have 136 meters plus. For BY, we have a negative 60.2 meters. I plugged this into my calculator and, and I got 136 uh, meters for CX and 75.8 for CY. Now, to find the C, I'm going to use the, uh, the Pythagorean theorem that I already had. I have the values for CX and CY and I'm going to use this guy here. So C equals square root of CX squared plus CY squared and that equals square root of 136 meters squared plus 75.8 meters squared and that will give us a value of 155 meters so to find the angle theta equals tangent inverse cy over cx which equals tangent inverse cy is um, 75 0.8 meters divided by 136 meters and uh, if we punch this into our calculator we'll get a 29 degrees so my result is 165 meters at 29 degrees and that would be north of east so I could write C vector equals 155 meters at 29 degrees north of east. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.